What's up everybody? Welcome back to another MLB The Show video. Today we're gonna go over every good glitch and tip in MLB The Show 21. But as always, drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button and turn your notifications on. Let's get into today's banger. If you're looking for great gaming services, Head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FAT for 5% off your order. So the first glitch we are going to cover is the two controller glitch. Now stay tuned and watch the full video. As you can see, this is my roster, no money spent. You can have this same exact team in about four hours of grinding and flipping. Everything that I'm going to show you, you can use these. So we're going to get out of Diamond Dynasty. We're going to go down here to Exhibition. I'm going to make sure that you guys know every way possible to get the XP, to get the stubs, so you can finish your first inning, second inning, third inning, fourth inning, every new inning that they drop player of the month i want you to be on top of it you're gonna need two controllers or you're gonna have to have a phone activated to a play app so to make this work you would need two controllers you want your player one on the left side just so you can make sure that it works your player two on the right side and it don't matter what team that you pick and we're gonna do stadiums that don't matter okay so the key to this is having fast play on you can do whatever you want with quick counts you can do whatever you want with innings above right now is a video on my last updated method it on this but all you want to do is intentional walk if it's not working for you or registering for you then all you need to do is close your app and wait three to four minutes and then your xp should pick back up also do not let your controller go inactive you have to reach over every 20 to 50 runs and push a button on the other controller that you have sitting down in order for your xp to work otherwise a lot of your xp will go on the controller account that you don't want i appreciate everybody that's been taking the time out of their day to watch a video we're gonna keep bringing these tips to y'all so right here we're gonna just hurry up and skip with our main controller now once we get to this screen we don't need our main controller no more except every 20 to 50 runs now you're gonna push lb or b or lb and o you're gonna intentional walk then you're gonna push yes you're gonna do this 50 to 75 runs at a time every 20 or 50 runs touch the other controller swing early and whiff that lets you know that both controllers are still active so you going to intentional walk you're going to get up to 50 to 75 runs and then you are going to strike everybody out the second inning when you get up you want to get to 50 or 75 runs but once you get to about 70 the bases will be loaded and you want to hit the ball make everybody come in you want to get three to five hits in the second inning third inning three to five hits fourth inning three to five hits if you play the full game you will get between 45 and 70 thousand xp it might take you 45 minutes to an hour depending on how locked in and focused you are but that is tip number one not gonna make it too long after you are done take your main controller and then exit out of the game so the second method that you want to do you want to come up here to create you want to go to vaults once you get into vaults you're gonna see all this crazy stuff pop up you're gonna push X or square and you're gonna go to search now it's a few different things that you can use once you get to this stage so we're gonna do the roster glitch and this is what I use for my created player he pops up as a 98 overall in game Game with all boosted stats I just made a video the other day on the best perks the best equipment the important stuff that you guys need so you need to go into the MLB playlist and watch all the videos so it's two different ones you can do you can do LSC shout out to my boy light skin Chris he just followed me on Twitter so make sure y'all follow him sub to his channel give him a shout out all that type of good stuff so you could just put LSC in and you want to make sure that you have crossplay enabled right now I don't have crossplay enabled but you you can see roster vault lsc xp grind so once you use that one make sure you are using the white socks you can see in the middle of the screen it says white socks so make sure you go to the white socks with that one it's another one where you want to use the tigers the next one that you're going to want to search in is you want to going to make sure that you are on roster so to get on roster you're going to push rb at the top or r1 or lb so you want to make sure that it says roster at the top then you just want to put dj in you put dj in all these dj cc x4s is going to pop up all 
always make sure you do one with a hundred or more downloads come down here to the commander roberts one and that'd be the best one to use that's the one that i'm currently on but a different version every few days it seems like they come in here and sneak behind our back and take certain rosters out once you go to this you just want to click on it and push download save it under a name that you can easily remember so once you get to that point then you want to go to road to the show and at the bottom of road to the show it says more options right there look underneath road to the show it says more options you want to click that and then you want to start a new file set up a new ball player once you get up in there and set up a new ball player then you want to load your guy up so you can see my guy is a 89 overall on the screen that is showing right now so if you come right here to the new loadout my guy has all diamond perks and all that so you want to come over here to whatever your newest one is going to be named and put him on he will start off with either bronzes or silvers for your other guy and then this activate button is super important always make sure whether you turn the console off whether you go into diamond dynasty from here every time you come back to the road to the show and you want your progress to work make sure you hit this activate button a few times okay so once you get up into that we're gonna go back into my real this is my real profile and you're gonna see once you go up into that you're gonna go to load save rosters right here this low save rosters is gonna put you in there with your new guy you want to make sure that you pick the san francisco giants that's a nl west team very important everybody is going to be named joe random and your guy is going to be able to get boosted up real fast every end of series you will get five to eight thousand xp you're going to get stubs on the way you're going to unlock perks very very fast and you don't have to swing the bat or pitch the ball just go in as soon as your game start you got to go into the game as soon as your game start go to simulate and exit push o or b to simulate faster and then go out go to the next game go back to the clubhouse after about three and a half to four hours you should have an 89 plus overall player from the beginning in it, okay so if these tips helped you out and you want to be able to get a guy squad no money spent just like i got we are like two or three cards away from getting 299 overalls to add to the squad so we should have soriana and we should have ortiz right here plus a 96 97 overall pitcher to add to the bullpen no money spent i can give you all the breakdowns and information on exactly what journey and road i took in order to do this but if y'all enjoyed the video don't be afraid drop a like on the video show your boy some love subscribe to the channel so when all the best glitches and tips are released you can get them before they are patched let's get it